It was a normal night. I was having dinner with my parents. They were smiling and laughing and enjoying their meal, but I couldn't eat. They asked me if I was hungry, and I just said no. But all I could think about was how do I tell them how I'm feeling? I can't say it out loud. I don't want to worry them. They're having a good night, and they don't think there's anything wrong. But I can't keep doing this. I don't want to keep living. I'm actively suicidal. We finished dinner, and it came time to say good night. All I wanted to say was, I'm sorry, and I love you, but I want to die. But all I could whisper was, goodbye. I went to my room, and I waited for everyone to fall asleep. But my thoughts just got worse and worse. I'm not good enough. No one likes me. I have no friends. I can't cope anymore. I don't want to be here. Music wasn't helping. I tried to distract myself on the computer. And then, out the corner of my eye, I saw this little, old, dirty, burnt card. And it was the kids' helpline card. I'd never rung them before, though, and I was so scared. But I decided to look up the website on my computer. And it wasn't as scary as I thought it was going to be. There were articles and different things talking about depression and anxiety and self-harm and even suicide. I sat there for a bit, scrolling through the website. I decided I'd try calling, even though I was so scared. I snuck through the house like a little mouse, trying not to wake anyone. I was so worried that my parents were going to find out, that someone was going to tell on me. I didn't know what was going to happen. And as soon as I got on the waiting list, I hung up. What if they think I'm stupid? What if I get in trouble? What even is the point? But I tried again, and this time I stayed on the line. When the counselor answered, I didn't know what to say at first. All my problems felt so silly and unimportant, but the counselor was so kind and supportive. She would speak to me, but then she would give me the time to answer. And sometimes it took me a while to say something, but eventually we started to talk more and more. They didn't push me to talk about anything I didn't want to, but we talked about everything from my favorite animal to school and bullying, even the person I had a crush on. And as we talked, I started to feel a bit lighter. My thoughts started to go away a little bit and I started to feel less suicidal. We spoke for quite a while and the counselor gave me strategies to help when I was feeling overwhelmed. By the end of the call, I had the courage to push on and face another day. I knew it was still gonna be hard, but now I felt like I wasn't doing this all alone. That night, I slept at the phone right next to me, ready to call if things got too hard again.